Hi, I'm Jack, and I'll be showing you um, the uh, different factors that the, the, the determine how bright a star is. Now, the answers are right up here where my cursor is, but so distance. That makes sense. So the sun is the closest star to us. And, well, the sun is really good, I way to example it, but, um, let's just say there's two different stars here. One is over here. So one is over here, and one is over here. Now, if it's closer to us, you'll probably see it then from afar. So take a flashlight. If you shine the flashlight right in your face, It'll, the light will be closer and, and it'll like blind you um, than as if a flashlight was 10 feet away. That's, that's the same with the star. If the star is closer to the earth, it's brighter than if the star was closer to, uh, I don't know, like Mars or something. It would, it would just be closer. Temperature. The uh, temperature is actually fat. If it's, if it's, um, if it's, uh, warmer, warmer, that's right. um, it'll be not red, but blue and white. And that plays a factor. Because it'll be more, if it's, if it's white, it'll be more noticeable in the black than in the, than, than red in the thing. <clears throat> the last factor is size. Size really matters, so it's the sun, take the sun. It's, it's a pretty average star, but compared to other really tiny ones, if they were at the same distance, they were the same temperature, but one star was bigger, it would be the bigger star. Another kind of example for the size is a binary star. That star is when a star orbits another star. So it'll look bigger and then it'll like go out and then it'll look even bigger. Even if it's not the actual star. Anyway, that is the three main factors to um, a star's brightness.